Basketball is providing relief for one young coach coping with tragedy. Dalton State College's John Redmond lost his bride-to-be in a crash last spring on the way to their wedding. News Channel 9's John Madewell joins us with the rest of the story. John. Well, Kim and Calvin, this is truly a basketball love story wrecked by tragedy. John Redmond and Brittany Huber never made it down the aisle, but Redmond has seen incredible support from the Dalton community. John Redmond fell for Brittany Huber when he first saw her more than five years ago. He was coaching her younger brother in a basketball league. I'm staring the whole time. I think we got beat by 50 that game because I was not in the, in, in the zone at all. But it, it was good. I, I told Michael to shoot every time he got it because I want to you know, impress her. <laughs> Late last April, they were driving to Mobile, Alabama for their wedding. But a terrible crash in Atlanta killed Brittany and put John in a coma for 17 days. He was told a tire blew out and he didn't know she had died until about a month later. Yeah, at first she was thinking, why didn't you tell me? But then I, I wasn't the place to know. But he knows basketball. He's the assistant coach for the Dalton State Roadrunners. The game has provided healing. Being around basketball has been great. You know, I mean, this is my team, my family, really. And this is my team. I love all everybody on the team. And it's, it's been great. It really has. And they've been so, super heartwarming for me. And Brittany and John moved to Dalton to chase his dream to be a head coach. And he thinks of her every day. I still make the bed up with all her 12 pillows that, you know, she got mad at me because I didn't make it, you know, before. Um, and that kind of, that's probably the most helpful thing I do in, do in the middle of the day. I get up in the morning and make that bed, all those 12 pillows. At the beginning of the year, he moved his wedding ring to his right hand to signal a new start. You know, I do feel like I'm married. I really do, you know, and I, I call her my wife. After he got out of the hospital, he found this letter she had written about a month before their wedding. So you're going to be an amazing head coach soon. And I'll be right behind you every, every time you turn. Every day, he wears her ring around his neck. And then I bought a little basketball because kind of our life has been kind of revolved around basketball, so. Now the ring is John Redmond's grandmother's and is 60 years old. Before the wedding, Brittany wrote a letter to his grandmother saying she wanted to make the ring last 100 years. John told me he plans to keep that promise. So John, how is John Redmond? How are physically? How about his injuries? Well, we saw him uh, during the game there. He was, he was walking around quite mobile. He didn't show any outward signs of anything that's uh, lingering. And when you cover the story, you're telling me that you were watching and someone opened the door and said that they were praying for him and that wasn't the first time? Absolutely. Right during the course of the interview, a guy came by, just stuck his head in. He says, I'm praying for you. And he said that it happens every day. Wow. Mm. Amazing story. Glad the coach is such a strong man. Sure. Appreciate Thanks, it, John. John.